Sweden, a country known for staying neutral and loving peace, has always been a symbol of tranquility and balance in the world. Its lush landscapes and serene countryside reflect a nation that values harmony and stability. But now, Sweden is embarking on a monumental project that marks a significant shift in its defense strategy. This project involves the creation of a super-advanced stealth fighter jet, a marvel of modern engineering and technology. They're calling it the Flygande Falcon, which translates to the Flying Falcon. This name evokes images of speed, agility, and precision, qualities that this new aircraft aims to embody. The ambitious goal is to have the Flygande Falcon ready to take to the skies by the year 2035. This timeline reflects the urgency and importance of the project in the context of global security dynamics. The introduction of the Flying Falcon represents a monumental leap forward for Sweden's Air Force. It signifies a commitment to maintaining a cutting-edge defense capability in an increasingly complex and unpredictable world. The development of this aircraft underscores Sweden's dedication to acquiring the best stealth technology available. Stealth technology is crucial for modern air combat, allowing aircraft to evade detection and operate with a significant tactical advantage. This significant project is driven by the changing geopolitical landscape, particularly in the Baltic Sea region. As tensions rise and alliances shift, Sweden recognizes the need to bolster its defense capabilities. Historically, Sweden has focused on versatile aircraft like the JAS-39 Gripen, which could perform a variety of roles. The Gripen has been a reliable workhorse, capable of adapting to different mission requirements. However, the current global security environment demands a new approach. Sweden now needs an aircraft that excels in a specific role dominating the skies against other advanced fighter jets. The Flyganda Falcon is designed to meet this challenge head-on. Much about the Flying Falcon remains shrouded in secrecy. Details about its capabilities and specifications are closely guarded, reflecting the sensitive nature of this advanced military project. What we do know is that the Flyganda Falcon will likely feature two powerful engines, a single pilot, and state-of-the-art stealth capabilities. These features will enable it to operate undetected in hostile environments. The aircraft will be constructed using advanced materials designed to minimize its radar signature. Additionally, it will house its weapons internally, further enhancing its stealth profile and reducing the risk of detection. This approach marks a significant departure from Sweden's previous aircraft designs, such as the smaller and more agile Gripen. The Flyganda Falcon represents a new era in Swedish aviation, one that prioritizes stealth and advanced combat capabilities. The development of the Flying Falcon is a substantial financial investment for Sweden. It reflects the nation's commitment to ensuring its air force remains at the forefront of technological advancements and is prepared for future challenges. As Sweden looks to the future, the Flygande Falcon symbolizes its resolve to maintain a robust and capable air force. This advanced stealth fighter jet will play a crucial role in safeguarding the nation's security and interests in an ever-evolving global landscape. Inside the Flying Falcon is some really cool technology that is set to revolutionize aerial combat. This isn't just any ordinary fighter jet, it's a marvel of modern engineering and cutting-edge technology. The technology on board will fundamentally change how pilots engage in combat and execute missions in the future. Imagine a world where the pilot is not just a human, but a symbiotic partner with advanced AI systems. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is a big part of it. These aren't just simple algorithms, we're talking about highly sophisticated systems capable of learning and adapting in real time. You know, like computers that can think for themselves. These AI systems can process vast amounts of data in the blink of an eye, making split-second decisions that could mean the difference between success and failure in a mission. The Flying Falcon will use AI in ways never seen before in fighter jets. This isn't just about automating tasks, it's about creating a seamless interaction between human and machine. Think of the cockpit as a super smart office for the pilot. Every display, every control is designed to provide the pilot with the most critical information in the most efficient way possible. The computer will help the pilot with everything, figuring out what's dangerous, identifying threats, and even suggesting the best course of action. It will prioritize which targets to attack first, ensuring that the most immediate threats are neutralized quickly and efficiently. The AI can even take over flying the plane and firing weapons, allowing the pilot to focus on strategy and decision-making. 
This means the pilot can focus on making important decisions, analyzing the battlefield, and adapting to changing conditions in real time. With advanced 360-degree view screens and a high-tech helmet with a heads-up display, the pilot will have unparalleled situational awareness, seeing everything around them better and fighting more effectively. But that's not all. The Flying Falcon will also be like a boss for a bunch of drones. These drones act as force multipliers, extending the reach and capabilities of the fighter jet. Drones are small planes that fly without a pilot. They can be deployed for various tasks, from reconnaissance to direct engagement with enemy forces. Imagine one fighter jet controlling lots of drones at the same time. That's a game changer. This capability allows for complex coordinated attacks that would be impossible with manned aircraft alone. These drones will be like helpers for the Flying Falcon. They can spy on enemy positions, jam enemy signals to disrupt communications, and even carry out attacks on high-value targets. This gives Swedish pilots a lot more options in a fight. With the combination of advanced AI and drone technology, the Flying Falcon represents the future of aerial combat, providing unmatched versatility and effectiveness in the battlefield. While Sweden is building the Flying Falcon, a state-of-the-art fighter jet designed to push the boundaries of modern aerial combat, China is also in the race developing new and advanced fighter jets to bolster its military capabilities. Among these, the J-20 and J-35 have already made headlines, and now, the J-36 is poised to join their ranks. Details about the J-36 remain scarce, shrouded in mystery and speculation. China is known for its tight control over military information, keeping the specifics of the J-36 under wraps. However, experts believe it to be a versatile two-engine fighter jet, capable of performing a variety of missions, much like the American F-35. Similar to Sweden's Flying Falcon, the J-36 is expected to incorporate cutting-edge stealth technology and sophisticated avionics. It will likely feature advanced communication systems, enabling seamless interaction with other aircraft and ground systems. Direct comparisons between the Flying Falcon and the J-36 are challenging due to the limited information available about the latter. Nonetheless, it's clear that the design philosophies behind these aircraft are distinct, reflecting the differing military strategies of Sweden and China. The Flying Falcon emphasizes integration with drones and the use of artificial intelligence, showcasing Sweden's focus on technological innovation and networked warfare. In contrast, the J-36 appears to be designed as a multi-role fighter, capable of handling a wide range of combat scenarios. This divergence in design highlights the broader strategic differences between Sweden and China in terms of military doctrine and defense priorities. Sweden's approach is centered on leveraging advanced technology and fostering cooperation between manned and unmanned systems. Meanwhile, China aims to develop versatile aircraft that can perform a multitude of roles, enhancing their operational flexibility and strategic reach. As both nations continue to innovate and expand their aerial capabilities, the global balance of military power is poised for significant shifts. The future of aerial combat will undoubtedly be shaped by these advancements, with each country bringing its unique strengths and philosophies to the forefront. Building a super-advanced fighter jet is really hard and really expensive, even for a country with smart engineers like Sweden. The Flying Falcon project will need lots of money and support from the government to succeed. Even the United States has had problems with its new fighter jet project, the NGAD. It's been delayed and costs way more than they planned. So, Sweden is looking for friends to help. They might work with other countries that are building similar jets like the UK or France and Germany and Spain. This way, they can share the costs and learn from each other. But working with other countries can be tricky. Everyone has to agree on what the plane should be like. And sometimes countries don't want to share their best secrets. Sweden has to be careful about who they team up with. When the Flying Falcon is ready, Sweden won't get rid of its Gretchen jets right away. Both planes will fly together for many years. The Flying Falcon, with its stealth and fancy sensors, will be used for serious fights against other high-tech enemies. The Gripen, which is cheaper and easier to fix, will be used for patrolling the skies during peacetime, responding quickly to emergencies and smaller fights. This means Sweden can slowly upgrade its air force while still using its Gripens. The Gripen is a popular plane other countries like Brazil and Hungary use it too, so, it will still be important for Sweden's defense. Using both planes shows that Sweden is being smart. They want the best technology, but they also have to think about how much things cost. 